What's up everybody, Jets GC back with another video as we rank all the free agent wide receivers coming up as we play a new game called WRL. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. This is a new channel. I only posted three videos. This is my fourth video. If you like videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, Allen Robinson and Chris Godwin are not in this video because they got franchise tag. So all the wide receivers besides them are in this video. This is how it works. This is a new game called WRL, the tier list for all the top free agent receivers. The top tier will be called Pay That Man. The second tier will be a W, the third tier will be an N, and the fourth tier will be an L. Next up, we're going to talk about how we're going to rank this. So we're going to rank it by age, PFF grade, Yards per game, the health, how healthy they were on the field, their off the field issues, their catch percentage, and the separation they get. This will be ranked by stars, three stars the best, two stars, one star, and also if it's really, really bad, they will get a sad face. Now that everybody understands the rules, let's get this started. At first, we start off with Antonio Brown. So Antonio Brown, his age, he's 32 years old, that gets him a sad face. His PFF grade was at 86, three stars. Yards per game, 60 yards per game, that is a two stars. How healthy he was on the field, he only played eight games this season, which gives him a sad face. His off the field issues, you know how he is off the field. I don't even have to go into details with that. His catch percentage was 72, so that is two stars. And at last, his separation was a 1.71, which is three stars giving him a total of 10 points. Next up, we got Jets wide receiver Brashard Perriman. Brashard Perriman is 27 years old, giving him two stars. His PFF grade was a 63. That gives him a sad face. Yards per game was 42 yards per game. That is also a sad face. How healthy he was this year, he played 12 games. That is two stars. His off-the-field issues, couldn't find anything. That is great. That is three stars. His catch percentage, he was probably one of the worst in the league in this. 50, that is a sad face, and separation was a 1.67, giving him two stars, giving him a total of nine points. We have Titans wide receiver Corey Davis. Corey Davis is 26 years old, that is three stars. His PFF grade, 87, three stars. Yards per game, 70 yards per game, that is three stars. Healthy, he played 14 games this season, giving him three stars. Off the field, he was great, another three stars. Catch percentage was also 50, so that's a sad face. Separation, he is 1.55, so that is one star, giving him a total of 16 points. Now we got Curtis Samuel, wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers. He is 25 years old, that is three stars. PFF grade was 77, that is two stars. Yards per game, 57, that is one star. Healthy, he played 15 games this year, that is three stars. Off the field, he's great, so that's another three stars. Catch percentage, 79, three stars, and separation 1.61. That is two stars, giving him a total of 17 points. Steelers young wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. Juju is 24 years old. That gives him three stars. His PFF grade was 68, so that's a sad face. Yards per game, he got 52 yards per game. That is one star. Healthy, he played 16 games this year, giving him three stars. Off the field, he's okay. People say he's into TikTok too much. I don't know. Depends on the person. I gave him two stars for that. Catch percentage, 76%. That is three stars. And separation was a 1.11, one of the lowest on this list, which is a sad face, giving him a total of 12 points. So we got Lions star wide receiver Kenny Galladay. Kenny Galladay is 27 years old. That is two stars. His PFF grade was an 82. That is three stars. Yards per game, 67 yards per game. That is two stars. How healthy he was this year. He only played five games this year, giving him a sad face, even though he was healthy throughout almost his whole career. I know it's kind of rough on him, but oh well. Off the field issues. He was great. We gave him three stars. Catching percentage, 63%. Catch percentage, one star. Separation, 1.09. The worst on this list, giving him a sad face and a total of 11 points. What about his teammate, Marvin Jones, wide receiver for the Detroit Lions? Marvin Jones is 31 years old. That gives him one star. His PFF grade was a 74, giving him another one star. Yards per game this year, 
61. That is two stars. How healthy he was this year? He played all 16 games, giving him three stars. Off the field, no off the field issues I heard of. He's great. Three stars. Catch percentage, 66% catch percentage. That is two stars. How much separation he got? 1.73. That is three stars, giving Marvin Jones a total of 15 points. Former Eagle and current Raider wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar is 28 years old, giving him two stars. His PFF grade was a 74, giving him one star. Yards per game, 56 yards per game, giving him one star. How healthy he was, he played all 16 games this year, giving him three stars. Off the field issues, nothing I could really find. So he's great, that is three stars. His catch percentage was 58, which is a sad face. Separation was a 1.62, giving him two stars. In total, having 12 points. So Chiefs wide receiver Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins is 28 years old, giving him two stars. His PFF grade is a 64, giving him a sad face. Yards per game, only 42 yards per game, which is also a sad face. How healthy he was this year. He played 10 games this year, which is one star. Off the field issues, he is okay. I found something where he had a little bit of drinking problem and issues while he was on the Buffalo Bills. I haven't seen anything recent, but I gave him one star for that. Catch percentage, 67 giving him two stars, and separation was a 2.18, which is crazy, which is three stars, giving him a total of nine points. We got the Colts longtime wide receiver, T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is 31 years old, giving him one star. His PFF grade was a 78, giving him two stars. Yards per game, 51 yards per game, he gets one star for that. How healthy he was this year, he played 13 games out of the 16. I gave him three stars for that. Off the field, haven't found anything besides uh, his mental issues, but I gave him three stars for that. Catch percentage, 60. That is one star. And his separation was a 1.26, which is a sad face, giving him a total of 11 points. Now we have Will Fuller, who is my personal, I think the best wide receiver in free agency right now. Will Fuller is 27 years old, giving him three stars. His PFF grade is an 86. I also gave him three stars. Yards per game. 80 yards per game, I gave him three stars. How healthy he was this year, he played 11 out of 16 games, kind of due to his PED su suspension, giving him two stars. Off the field issues, like I talked about, his PED issues got him suspended, so I gave him one star for that. Catch percentage was 71%, giving him two stars. How much separation he got was a 1.77, which is three stars, giving Will Fuller a total of 17 points. Wide receiver I will be doing today, he recently got cut by the Buffalo Bills. It is John Brown. John Brown is 31 years old, giving him one star. His PFF grade is a 70. I gave him one star. Yards per game, 51 yards per game. I gave him one star. How healthy he was this year. He was, he played nine games. I gave him a sad face. Off the field issues, he was great. I gave him three stars. Catch percentage, 64%. That is one star. And separation was a 2.07, which is three stars, giving John Brown a total of 10 points. Finally, the results, in my current opinion, these are my results on what I think how everyone should be. So in the pay that man category, I have Will Fuller, Curtis Samuel, and Corey Davis. In the W category, I have Marvin Jones, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Kenny Galladay. In the neutrals for N, I have T.Y. Hilton, John Brown, and Antonio Brown. As for L, I have Rashad Perriman and Sammy Watkins. At the end of the video, this took a lot of time, so please show your support, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing more positions like this. I'll probably have Edge coming out tomorrow and then cornerback on Sunday before a free agency starts. So that's the end. I'm Jets GC, and I'm out. Peace.